Welcome to the Visualize 5 screencast. The purpose of this screencast is to show you a few things. One is to demonstrate the default project and then uh, walk you through how to make your own project very similar to it. Visualize 5 is, is a remake of the old Visualize that was done in Flash uh, a few years ago. It combines a timeline down here with, with a, a slippy map um, you know, like Google Maps, uh, with uh, an area over here on the right that shows a story. This is Thomas Jefferson's life. He was born in 1740. So it, what we can do is by by tying in the various things, we can actually have them interact. So in this case, when you click on bo the born thing in the, in the timeline, it brings up uh, a, a pop-up box, and it also can bring up an image that's uh, Shadwell, where he was born. In. Now you can click here, too, and it does the same thing. Um, and there's one here showing a little bit more detail in the story panel. So those, those are the three elements. Uh, you can change the size of these things by dragging them around. Uh, or he was born then, he went to William and Mary. And what's, what's interesting here is besides just the dot uh, of William and Mary, there is, you can see, a uh, period map of William and Mary in, overlaid on top of it with some transparency. So you can see underneath it. So there's Monticello. There, you can have other things happen besides just move the map on the screen. You can, uh, for example, notes from the state of Virginia will actually show Wikipedia page on the right. And then same thing with, with death has something particularly special to it. It actually has a, has a pan and zoom, high resolution uh, zoom image that you can go through and, and look at high resolution uh, at a particular image. So here, when you elect a president, that brings you to Washington, D.C. with a, an overlay of a map of, of, of Washington around that time period. In this case, it was it, it roughly georeferenced on top of it, and I'll, I'll go over what the georeferencing is. Um, on the right is, it, up, up here, this is kind of boilerplate about Visualize 5 in general. We're not going to recreate that. Um, that's how you got the screencast. Uh, you, this will show you some other projects that people have done and then the sample spreadsheets that you'll use to start with. And, and then each one of these things, you click on it and it opens up more information about it. You can also use uh, time in an interesting way. So you can segment time into, into periods. Uh, and so these segments down the bottom, sometimes you want to focus on, on parts of it. So this, this basically, now it's just the revolutionary era. And what happens is when I click the colonial era, it shows me from 1740 to 1763. The Revolutionary Era is 1763 to 1783, or I can just show them all. Now, you may have noticed also on here that there's a pathway going, uh, showing his, the travel. So I can connect a, a line, kind of like the Indiana Jones map, that shows how how he traveled between these, pl these places. So if I click on play, we'll see a line going from all the points that he went, and we see it go through. And, and this, this is interactive to this timeline, so we can drag the timeline. So that's the project itself. Let's go and make this project.